Steven Rails is easily the greatest add-on for Create ever. I mean, look at these train tracks. They look insane. It's also the mode that adds different gauges. Look at this. We have a narrow gauge and a very wide gauge. Whoa. Now, when I first looked at Steven Rails, it didn't have that much. It had this uh, minecart with jukebox, which was, you know, not a lot. But I had my hopes up. And since that day, the developers have developed this mod adds so much. And yesterday, it got an update that added even more. So that's what we're looking at today. We've got a lot here. But first, if you enjoy my videos and you want to help me, subscribe. Why don't, why don't you subscribe? But all right, I talked a bit about the tracks and that was actually kind of smart by me because they've added new tracks now that we have more wood types in Minecraft, I guess. So we now have bamboo tracks, stripped bamboo tracks, and then also cherry train tracks. <laughs> so here's the bamboo train track. It's the bamboo. <laughs> it's the bamboo but on a train track. That's so sick. And then also stripped bamboo as well. That looks nice. I'd use this in a jungle railroad every day. And then of course, everyone's favorite cherry, which is uh, very ugly. I don't like cherry. I'm so sorry. But who cares for all you cherry enjoyers who can now make a pink train track. Moving on, it seems like we have a new tab in the creative menu. The steam and rails palettes. Whoa. Brass wrapped loco metal. What's... Oh, that looks sick. Oh my. There is so much going on here. We have a bunch of foilers. That is nice. And they look really good as well. Oh, and you can build like with a create system. Oh, that's so nice. All right, so this is just solid 10 out of 10. More building blocks, I guess. What? Green slash local metal. This is... Oh, I, I'm... Oh, and it all connects so nicely. Look at the texture. And then they added buffers, which is amazing. I've been waiting for this for a while now. Look at this. We have buffers that we can put on trains. That is so nice. And the fact that they come in different sizes as well is also great. And this is a copycat buffer. So I believe we can change this to any block type we want. Yes, that can make it fit in a lot better with the train uh, if you want to. Or you can just do the small one because it doesn't have the back plate. I want to put this on the shells train and see how it looks. Let's see. Oh, there it is. The beautiful, beautiful shell strain. Print. And does that work? That works, yes. And I guess we're going for the small buffers here. Is that too high? Is it supposed to be one block down? But no, it can't, right? That's the lowest it can be. Hmm, what if we do like that? <laughs> it looks a bit weird. But I mean, it works. Is it a part of the train? No, it is not. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. That looks sick. But okay, so they added train buffers. Did they add track buffers as well? I really hope they did, because if they did not, I'm going to cry. Oh, there it is. Wait, I can't put it. <gasps> Wait, do I put it directly on the track? I do. Whoa, and they connect. What does it do? Variant can be changed by clicking the front face and can be dyed. Wait, how do I change the variant by clicking the... What does it mean? Nothing's happening when I'm clicking. <laughs> Wait, let's dye it. Cyan dye. Let me see. Come on. Wait, can I do it with the train buffers as well? I can! Customization, that's awesome. And I can't drive the train. I'm stuck. Wait, does the train get stuck on... How do we get out of here? <laughs> Wait, let's put the buffer over here instead. So it's not like directly connected to the train. And now I should be able to drive, right? Yes, and what if I drive up to the buffer? Does it connect up? I can't drive. This might be a bug I'm experiencing here. They released this yesterday. So, I mean, you know, probably just missing something here. It doesn't say anything about how to not get stuck. <laughs> but okay. There are so many more cool features in this update. But real quick, I want to thank my channel members for supporting me, especially Trifix, all these aromatic, Robert Dufer, and Sandra Creates, who've been members for over a year straight. Thank you so much for helping me make these videos free from sponsors and boring ads. All right, I need to disassemble this train again because I've been told they've changed some, uh, some things about functional blocks on trains. So, Normally, you know, trapdoors work on trains. If we assemble this, uh, we can open and close these trapdoors here. Very nice. But what doesn't work is crafting tables. But they've changed that, apparently. So now you can put crafting tables on a train and it should uh, just uh, work. Oh! It is, it is, <laughs> it is not working. <laughs> well, it seems we have, a, we have a yet another bug here, but that's fine. You can see the UI pop up. They've added crafting tables to train and not, not just crafting tables. Okay. They've added cartography table, grindstone, smithing table, and stone cutters. All of this should work on the train. Uh, let's just place it down and then assemble and we'll see. It's probably, yeah, it's glitching out now. I have a bunch of other mods installed, so it could just be, you know, something with that. But you can see the UI pop up. That means it's almost working at least. <laughs> 
here's a huge quality of life change. If I pick up a wrench and hold it over a block that is connected to a track, it'll highlight it. Look at that. That is sick. And this would be so helpful when you have a bunch of train tracks, a bunch of train stations, just blocks everywhere, observers and stuff. And I'm definitely going to be using this in my survival world a lot because I, I always end up putting out a bunch of observers and stuff and then kind of forgetting where I put them. Like I take a train station and put it down here and then just take that. Now I can just do this. Okay, it kind of shows me that it's going down in this direction. Apparently we have a smoke rework. So if you don't know, Create Steam and Rails adds a bunch of uh, smoke stacks. You have, whoa, they've added even more. Copper, brass. Oh, they look so sick. Wait, I need the copper one for the copper train. <gasps> oh, look at that. Press and hold the open cycle menu key. Select variants of this block. Whoa, that is nice. So if I want to change the style, I can just go into this menu and pick up a new one. Oh, smoke. Look at that. There's new smoke texture and it is looking hot. So much better than the old one. This is more Minecrafty. I like that. And then can we change the color of it by dying, I think? <laughs> I have the sudden urge to make the pink train that drives on the pink tracks with p pink smoke. During this episode, I have slightly fallen in love with the cherry train tracks. I, I really like them now. Ignore what I said in the beginning. They've changed a bunch of stuff with the bogies. This is going to be amazing to see. Whoa, a completely new bogey menu. What is this? The comically large, standard, and narrow dob. Wait, so this is the standard styles. And then we can go to single axles. They've been changed here. That is, ooh, this one is new, I'm pretty sure. Double axles. I recognize most of these. Whoa, this one has to be new. I feel like I have not seen... Yo! I don't think I've seen this one before. I'm not sure. Maybe I have. That is so nice. And then quadruple. What? Whoa, oh my. Wait, I have to drive this. I need to test it out. Give me train controls. Wait, does this... Oh, it connected up to the... <laughs> Oh no, it connected up to the chance train. Look at that. That is so sick. Oh, and it's got moving shafts in the center as well. Okay, do we have any bigger ones? Because that wasn't even the, the last one. We were on quadruple. We've got quintiple. What does that look like? Oh, oh, oh what? <laughs> even bigger? This is this has to be the last. And the crazy part is, I know people are going to use this to make just great looking trains, which is so awesome. How does this look in turns? Here we go. Is it like connected on different? No. Yeah, it is a bit weird in the turn. Yeah, the wheels are off the track. That's fine. You just have to make bigger turns, I guess. All right. Was that the last one? We were at six tuple. Yes, that is the last one. And then we have favorites, which is cool. You can add your favorites. Liquid fuel system. I don't know what this is, but it seems like they've added a, a fuel system, a fuel tank and a portable fuel, flu, flu, portable fuel interface. I have absolutely no idea what this is or what type of fuel we want to put in here, but but it's a thing, so I'm gonna just try to do something with it. It just says liquid fuel system with fuel tanks and fuel interfaces in the change log. If we assemble, it should connect up right. Yes. So does it add fuel? Not that I can see, right? It's just a bunch of building blocks here. All right, wait, let's get a normal fluid tank out here and get some lava in it because lava is just the classic, classic, classic lava. I'm just guessing here, uh, but it, it might run on lava. I don't know. <laughs> it probably doesn't. And you're going to be angry at me for doing stuff. Okay, it's going into the fuel tank. That's a good thing. We're just just, it's just a normal train, I think. I do like the smoke, though. But yeah, I don't know if this is doing anything. Okay, here we go. I've set up a little racetrack here. I want to see if the train is faster when it's got the fuel inside of it uh, or if when it does not. I don't know if that is how it works. Uh, maybe they've got like an engine or something that I'm missing. Or maybe you have to have the boiler because they added boilers. Could that be it? I don't know. I don't know. You know what? Let's just try this and then we'll see. So when I give the train schedule to these two chickens here, they should just drive up here and wait. And then as soon as I power this, we should see them drive off. And then over at the end, I've set up a little system with note blocks so we can hear if we don't see... Uh, who wins? So I'm gonna be ready to switch over into spectator mode. Now we should be able to just quick switch. Yes. Okay, so chicken train race in three, two, one, go! And they're off. And they are driving in the same speed. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly the same speed. And now they're slowing down as well because they're reaching the station. <laughs> okay, uh, so not a faster top speed then, I guess. Oh, wait, let me look in the configuration. Does it have a... Uh, let's see. Make trains require fuel to run, either from fuel tanks or solid fuels. Okay, so if we turn this on, this train won't be able to run anymore. Oh, 
It is, but really slow. <laughs> and then this one. It's full speed. That's cool. Is it consuming the fuel then? Can I see how much? I thought I'd be able to see how much we have, but no, I cannot. All right, you know what? I feel like this is what Steam and Rails do. They add something and it's like, oh, that's a pretty cool addition to the game. And then two updates later, it's huge. Like they added some new train tracks. And then a couple updates later, they added custom gauges and stuff. Narrow and wide. And this was not a part of the mod. So my guess is we're going to see this fuel system get improved in the future. Maybe. Hopefully with a ponder, because that is what I need. Because I'm dumb. I really need to be Able to hold W on this thing, but there's nothing, nothing's happening. And last but not least, I hope you've subscribed for this one. They've added a hand car, which I've not seen this. I've heard people talk about it, that they're developing it and stuff, but I have tried my hardest to not look in their Discord. Let's see. Oh, yes. I... This is exactly what I wanted and more. Can we sit? How do we. How do we... Oh, I need to start controlling it. Oh. Look at the little cogwheel spinning around. That's so cool. And then we can't we can't approach any stations or anything, because this is just like a portable thing that you pick up when you're done with it. <laughs> so here's what I usually do when I want to go down my train tracks without building a full train. I put down the train station, create new train, train casing, slab seat, control, super glue, and assemble. You've probably seen this thing get built on my channel many times. Okay, it's moving very fast because we've got the, the fuel thing turned on, so we're not. We're not really going anywhere. But yeah, I don't have to do this anymore. This thing is gone. Now I can just use the hand car instead. Which is very nice. Look at the chicken. Look how jealous the chicken is. I don't know. I feel like the Steam and Rails team, they never miss. It's always great at looking at these updates and just using it in the game as well. It's so cool what this has turned into. Yeah, anyways, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and subscribe if you did, please. Here's another video that YouTube thinks you want to watch, so maybe watch it. I don't know. Just an idea. You don't have to. I'm not going to force you.